Everything and everyone who's in your life right now is teaching you how to become more authentic. Because why? Because your level of authenticity is always connected to your potential. If you're not being authentic, then you're living in a reality that isn't your highest potential. Yeah, because you're afraid. If you're afraid, you're not living in your highest potential. If you're fearless and you're able to be yourself unapologetically, then you're going to be in your highest potential because you're not trying to impress anyone anymore. So the idea is through becoming more of yourself, through becoming more honest, more transparent, more vulnerable, more expressive, you are bridging the gap between where you are now and where you want to be. And again, why? Because in your highest, highest, highest potential, you're not draining yourself trying to be something that you're not. You're not afraid to be judged. You've accepted yourself. So this is the only thing you should focus on. When people tell me they're stuck in their life, they're basically telling me that they're materialistic. They're focused on what they can get or the job or how much money. This is not the game. The game is you're never stuck. You can always become a more authentic version of yourself in any given moment. And as you do that, you up-level yourself. You're getting closer and closer and closer to your highest potential. Now, if you have friends that you can't really be yourself with, you'll find out that they weren't your true friends because they're only there because you're, you're supposed to see that you're not being authentic. And then when you, <laughs> when you raise the bar, when you start becoming more of your true self, maybe one of them will stick around because they were feeling the same things as you. Most of them are going to fall away. You're leveling up. You're getting to the next level. Now you're with people who aren't talking over each other all the time. You see, same with your jobs. Your authentic self isn't complaining. That's not your, the truest you complaining. The truest you doesn't want to be there. So you have to be that truest you, be that truest you and, and, and be in that space as if you already are successful, as if you know this is gonna be temporary. So there's no need to complain if you know it's gonna be temporary because you know that that version of you that wants to complain isn't really you. It's the you that thinks you're stuck in that job, but the truth is you're never stuck. This is about leveling up internally. And when you outgrow that job and it has nothing left to teach you, you're out of there. The universe doesn't want you there anymore. So this is the idea is you're bridging the gap between who you think you are right now and who you, you actually are. You already are that, but you're becoming it because you're undoing all of your fears. You see, you're overcoming the part of you that's afraid to be judged. That is the idea. So if you can't be yourself with me right now, I will arrest you. I know everything. I'm a Virgo. I know. And, and you're also telling the world when you're not authentic that you're this far from your highest potential. You're super far from it. Why? Because in your highest potential, you're completely authentic. You don't need to be anything other than yourself. So if you're not able to be yourself with the people in your life, if you're walking on eggshells with your husband, if you're complaining at your job, which again, isn't your truest self, okay? That's you resisting your truest self, resisting doing the work. If you're unable to be super honest and real with your friends, then yeah, you have to question the reality that you're in. It's solely there to teach you how to become more of you. And when you become more of you, you're thankful because it taught you how to become more of you, but that won't be there anymore. You've outgrown it. This is the idea. You're becoming, you're, you're, you're moving into your highest potential, not because you're doing something physically, not because you're trying to make more money, not because you're, you're applying at new jobs. That does nothing. All that does is change, it changes your environment. You're the one we're trying to change. We're trying to help you remember that you're perfect as you are. You don't need to put up a facade. You don't need to be something other than yourself. So as you do that, you begin to undo the fear and you start to rise into your highest potential because you're becoming more of you. All right, I hope that helps you. This is an internal game. You have to organize your mind. You have to organize your thoughts. You have to organize everything and ask yourself, who am I really? I need to be that in a physical way. I need to be myself in a physical way. 
I need to verbalize my truth. I need to set the boundaries I need to set. I need to not hang around people that make me feel uncomfortable. I need to be myself. And everything starts to fall away. And that's all that's happening. <laughs> you know, you think you're going higher, which is kind of true, but everything that you are not starts to fall away. You get it? So this is what we're after. Clear the dark cloud around you by knowing that you are perfect as you are. Not everyone's gonna like you. You'll never win that battle if you try. You'll never win that battle. Not everyone can like you because everyone is seeing you the way that they're seeing you. If you're successful and they have jealousy, they're not gonna like you because they have jealousy. It's not personal to you. It's just they haven't dealt with that yet. So you can't get everyone to like you. It's impossible. So just accept yourself and own it.